bummed because we actually took a video of our, our favorite Senate guy and uh, yes, it didn't so record. So we breakfast and it didn't work. He is the best. The minute I walked up, he was like, hey, it's my friend. <laughs> Someone's eating your simit. Man, it's living her best life, that's for sure. Yeah. Simit and water, just enjoying it. You're just over here. <laughs> I really love this. So this is, this is the train line, this is the marmoray line. Yeah, it actually goes underneath the, the Bosphorus and goes back up to Sultan Ahmed. So that's what we're taking this morning. So we have two stops, Uskurar and then Sir Kessi. I think that's how you say that. You know, I'm just saying, he kind of made my morning, our cement man. Did he? It was so sweet. Mm -hmm. So nice, and all the dogs were out, man. They were full of piss and vinegar today. One licked my hand, he was chasing cars. It was just so cute. Like, everybody's so happy. the wrong place so we gotta go up this steep incline next to the mosque to get to the main entrance where we need to be it's not very clear unfortunately I'm supposed to meet a guy right here in red he's not here and he has been joking he's like just go in so let's go in and see what happens that's confusing and bad customer service so we're a little early so behind us here so let's check in and then we'll um take us all in together into the main entrance here and then give us the so we actually paid extra for the harem section so we're going to do that too and then give us an intro and then we'll be set loose on our own What's cool is I don't you don't realize how close everything is together. So like this is Hagia Sophia. This is the real famous mosque, you've seen all the pictures. And then and that way over here, that's the blue mosque. So there's all in the same little area. And then between here I think this is a cistern, right? Somewhere is a cistern. We're not doing the mosques. We're not doing the mosques today simply because we're both wearing shorts and you're not supposed to wear shorts in a mosque and I don't have my head cover. So we're just gonna do the palace today and then we'll come back and do the blue mosque, I Sophia and the cistern today. That's not very good. No, it's not. Maybe now we know it's free. But, interesting anyway.
Karen. Um, that was kind of figured out, but this is beautiful. I feel like our living room should look like this. Oh, okay. And I should have a throne. Wow. This whole thing is a pool. It's pretty amazing. And overlook the the harem courtyard here. All right, that's a quick in and out, I guess. Uh, audio guide really made us a, made us, it made a disadvantage, I think, for us because it a little bit. it was out of order and it wasn't very detailed. So it was free, but I think maybe rent them here because I've seen people they look like phones. Yeah, but we, it may be more detailed. What's interesting is is we came by the entrance and it wasn't much of a line at all, and, and we probably showed that already in their montage. But stuff in here. high season, they say it could be a two hour wait. I know it's like COVID and everything going on so it probably wouldn't have been that for us had we know but we were, didn't want to take our chances yeah but walking through here guys paid our, paid our own way here without having to tour guide and all that other stuff because he did show some good stuff but it wasn't really any proprietary i don't think we actually read that they have a cafe here we had a cement on the way we're a little hungry we definitely need some water so i know it's going to be touristy and pricey but we thought it would be kind of interesting just to see um, as an experiment for any of you guys who may or may not be interested in it. So we're gonna see where that's at. Also, our the guy who originally let us, let us in said to go all the way to the fourth courtyard and work our way back. So I think we're gonna take his advice. Okay, I don't know if I told you guys, but our pipe burst uh, oh, we didn't tell you guys, like, no. the pipe burst in our, in our Airbnb, poor guys. We um, let them know directly, however, instead of calling Airbnb, so that way they can fix it without Airbnb getting involved. Just because they're so nice, and it's one of those fluke things, like it's not their fault. So, we're good, no big deal. Um, Jimmy was talking to them. I got Barak. And not sure what's inside of it, actually. Chocolate magic? Look at that, whoa. Like, it's heavy, too. I got two bottles of water, and I got their mixed drink, which is incredibly tart. I'm not sure if I like it. They said sherbet, so this is called sherbet. Yeah, basically, like they're like, like their juice, cinnamon, pomegranate, and rose water. With this, the they're saying what happens is you know if you're gonna die, you're in the jail cells. They, they serve you sherbet. That means you're gonna die. Or if they serve you water, it means you're you're good. So if they, if they serve you sherbet, that means they're sentencing you to die, not that you're gonna die from drinking it. So like right. during the time of the Sultan, that's what they did. Mm -hmm. If they gave you water, they were gonna let you live. The place behind us is actually really expensive. It's like 400 for like like uh, just a decent the usual size kebab you'd get for what 100 outside of here. So it's way overpriced. But this guy's here, like the all cart cafe. Caf Cafe, cafeteria, decently priced. I mean, we paid two hundred and forty. It was two twenty nine, so oh. it came out to about twenty five dollars. So I got. Kind of pricey, but. I got a kebab sandwich. Is what I got, and then some baklava. I got a lemon sherbet, and then we both got two waters because we're just thirsty we're and need to save it. So. Yeah. Well, y'all, lunch was just okay. Let me tell you, I got this piece of chocolate cake because it looked gooey and fudgy and amazing with like hazelnuts. I've been into it. There was hidden raisins. My fellow hate raisin haters out there, you know the feeling. Have you guys seen that llama meme? That was me. It's fascinating. This is like the palace of the Sultan Ottoman Empire, right? This is the sofa room. As you look around here, not one Ottoman in the entire room. Are you serious? I mean, what's it named after? It's got to be named after the Ottoman Empire, right? Ottoman? Ottoman? I don't know. But can we all discuss in the comments how much I need this sofa in my life? Who thinks this is what my living room should look like with the rug? I get all the good pink vibes, guys. Taking a quick uh, sit here. 
It's hot today, guys, so truthfully, we're just having a little break. We may not be the people that should appreciate this kind of thing. It's starting to look the same to me. I feel kind of like a bad person. It's kind of weird about this whole thing is like, you go into one big room and it's like, oh, here's a circumcision room, for example, and you walk in there and it's like a big giant sofa and then an open room with a fireplace. Don't know what happened in there, don't know how the process is. They use the sofas to sit and watch like a big party, you know. Well, it's not a I, like, <laughs> like, like they don't tell you anything, and our, our, unfortunately, our guide, our like, audio guide, is absolutely horrid. So like, it doesn't tell you anything about anything. This is one of those things. There's so much of it that it just all starts to run together. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely beautiful. Tons of gold. Like it's really gorgeous. But after a little bit, it just starts to all look the same. Like there's just more of the same. So. We're currently on the third courtyard, I'm about to go into the audience room. Audience room, where they got special audience with the Sultan, so Coach we're about Sultan to go says, see that. What's up? And the guys are like, what's up? Look at the, this, the floor, how it's so worn down over hundreds of thousands of years of, you know? I said hundreds of thousands, but I meant thousands of years. Place is popping. <laughs> There's a lot of people. Big line for the audio tour uh, deal, so that's, that's important. I think if you come early in the morning, you might be okay, but if it's on a busy time of year, you probably have a bit of a line. But we could have gotten right in. Mm -hmm. We could have. Um, uh, final thoughts. Well, uh, first, we bought the Istanbul welcome card mm -hmm. for ours. It's about 58 euros. Oh. Um, per person, not just not per person, total 58 euro, and that's about $67. We'll do the conversions down below because I know there always changes, but that's what it costs for us to get in. Yes, um, so it wasn't a bad price, but I think you bite it yourself if you go early enough. You don't you can save some, some money that way. The free guide that comes with the free audio guide basically, it's an app that you have download on your phone, and there's a lot of things that they miss out on. And actually, it doesn't even cover the whole, the whole back section, the, the fourth area. So, skip uh, that. So, or or get it here. Yeah, I'll get it here, but because you have you punch in the numbers of where each place you're at, which is kind of nice. Um, but I've been to a lot of. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be, been to a couple of different places across the world that have, are palaces. I have not. Uh, India is namely one of them, and it's this what's, place is huge. Yeah, it's it's actually bigger than the place I've been. Yeah. But the problem is, uh, I think, is is that you don't one way at disadvantage because of the audio thing. Yeah. But also, I, I think that the and room's all empty and you don't really see anything. You kind of see an empty room, then it's maybe like a sofa and a fireplace. But a lot of it is shut down for renovation. A lot of it, and so there's huge huge portions of it that you don't get to see because of that. Yeah. Which I think is a real bummer. Yeah, so the treasury, that kind of stuff that you can't see. Um, there's, there's collections of like the like the war collections that we weren't able to see. They're like all the armament and stuff. So that's kind of a bummer for us. So we want, I want to see all that stuff, so. One, one cool thing is when you go through like the like relics area, there's a guy singing, and I thought it was a recording, but it's actually live, which was pretty cool. The you actually, cool. you actually, yeah, you, you pass it. That being said, um, all that stuff, would we, would we pay it again? Probably not. Um, you kind of think, you have to, you kind of have to go though. I feel like you have to. Be. I feel like you gotta do it. The thing is, is it's so extravagant, everything starts to look the same, which is kind of a hilarious problem, because there's so much gold and so much of the same that it just looks the same. And it's massive, but 
I mean, it's beautiful. I think it's worth a C one time. Although I do think the price should be lower because half of it's shut down. We're gonna kill off this place. Yeah. Like, That's this how they're doing the renovations. Yeah. So I don't know what it costs to maintain this place, but I, I feel like thirty bucks is a bit touristy for me. So yeah, but at the same time, I don't regret it necessarily. Would I come back? No, probably not. To another visit at Istanbul. I, I, it's, I feel like it's one of those places once you've seen it. You've seen one it. done. Yeah. One and done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a short vlog today. <laughs> this is, it is. We didn't we know what to expect here, so that's kind of what it was at. Where it was at for well, us. Well, we so. wanted it to be its own video because we know it's a touristy place to go, so we wanted it to be easy for people to search and see. Yeah, a lot of people don't actually like us visiting museums and historical places, so we actually don't. That's what we don't like cover. We don't honestly, film a lot of that. you ever see it? Because we always go, but we don't always film it. <laughs> that's right. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell us your favorite part is down below of our tour today. Yeah. And tell us uh, if you think it's if worth, you think it's it. worth it, it, if you disagree. Tell us in the comments. Yeah, totally cool, totally with cool with it. Cool with it. So as we were leaving, we had a couple couple of thoughts that we had to share. Footnote. One thing is that the line last year is really long. We didn't record it because we had it packed this camera packed away. It's but, uh, long. It's long, long. So definitely book your book your if you're tickets coming ahead. in the afternoon. Don't come to wait in line. Right. Also, um, that being said, we kind of figured out what, what's missing and, and what's missing is like reenactors. Like we need like. Like living history, you know, like that's like it gives us empty, empty rooms. It doesn't really mean anything, but I wanted to see kind of what things look like, and especially because the kitchen was so huge. I wanted to see like how that functioned. And actually, so. one part of the kitchen was was actually off limits, which the old kitchen was. So there's a new kitchen, and old kitchen. The kitchen was off limits, or old kitchen was off limits. So a couple of things. I almost not could watch this video, but <laughs> I wish they had like reenactors and like stuff in the courtyards going so you on. Get a feel for the place, yeah. Like, during that time, then I would have been really pumped. That would have been cool. There's an endless stream of people coming through here, like crazy, crazy amount of people. So yeah. um, I think they had could, they could probably afford it, you know, yeah. to do something like that. Pack your water. Yeah. Also, yes, pack your water. That's another good tip. It, it, things are expensive. It's four lira, which is all relative, but yeah. compared to Still. getting it for a, a one lira outside, one and a half, two lira, yeah, pack your water.